Hi, this is Chetan Nayak. This video provides a brief demonstration on the usage of the various types of profilers present within Brutotel. When you download the Brutotel package, it contains a profiles directory which contains samples for various types of profile. There's a full profile which contains everything starting from your click scripts, auto runs, commands, or your listener information. I have a very basic profile over here as well, which contains nothing but the listener information and auto runs profile here, as can be seen in JSON format, your click script profile, which can be used to automate the execution of multiple commands if you're into purple team or your commands profile, which can be used to convert your own tools into a specific internal command of the badger. Let's see how these can be used. You can either add all of them inside your main profile, for example, like this as an individual profile information over here, or you can simply load them dynamically during runtime by creating something like this as an individual profile. Let's see how this can be done. I'll start my commander here. I'll drag it to the left half of my white screen. Okay, so if I navigate to auto runs, as you can see, it's empty. The click script is also empty here. We'll create a payload which will execute on our Windows 11 host. Now we can see that nothing has been executed because our auto run did not contain anything. If I execute this again after adding auto runs, the commands that have been added to auto runs can be will be automatically executed on the new payload. So instead of adding each of them manually, I will simply upload the profile from my folder here. Auto runs and you can see these have been added. Now I will execute my badger again and the new connection, as you can see, have these commands which are automatically executed whenever they connect for the first time. Similarly, we can also upload a command profile. For example, in our command profile, we had the command such as handles, which simply executed the handle64.exe from sysinternals toolkit and we renamed it to handles in our internal command. So when we run this, it should read up the handle64.exe from here, load it into memory and execute it into memory without creating a new process as it is registered under register underscore exe profile. So let's uh, upload this. Currently, if I type handle, for example, it won't do anything because it's not loaded yet. We'll upload the commands profile. I will have to close this terminal and start it again for it to be effective. We can see that various commands have been simply loaded from my command JSON file. So I will execute this handles. I'll go back, type handles, and you can see that the handles command was successfully executed over here. Similarly, you can execute any other commands that you require. You can also upload a click script profile by default, if I try to load a click script profile, you can see it's pretty empty. Something that can be used for automating the execution of your commands. So I'll go to profile, click script, load this up. You can see nine click scripts were added. Now I'll load the click script and you can see that we have multiple of our click scripts loaded. I've selected B1. And let's see how these can be executed. I'll select WMI query, run it. So all of these should be executed one after the other. Great. As you can see, we have a pretty large output over here as well. So there's a quick example over here as to how you can automate the execution of your commands with the help of various profiles.